Hey hello everyone my name is Dinesh Krishnan in this video we are going to create a service layer we are going to add the service layer into what you know our existing spring boot application hey what exactly the service layer when i say service layer that is actually going to contain the business logic for our application so in in our situation what is the business logic for the customer management application so typical grid operation for what you know the customer data so when i say grid operation create read update and delete operation for that we going to create what you know one service layer we going to have it have it in our application so later we can incorporate that service into what you know our apr let's do that later as of now let's create what you know the service layer so we can see what you know the base package called com.dinishquiz.cms that is what you know customer management system inside that i'm going to create you know one more sub package called service right so service package is created inside that i'm going to create the class called customer service right the customer service class is created now what i'm planning to do this i'm planning to actually add couple of method which can manage the customer information so in this service class i'm not going to connect this service class to the database maybe we'll be doing it in the later video so as of now consider we going to use the normal a uh, list object in order to actually hold the customer information and with that list object we will perform all the management operation right i'm going to create the list object so private private list so make sure that you are importing from java total package list i want this list to be holding what in you know, the customer object that we created right so that's from you know the model dot uh, customer class now i'm going to call them as what you know customer list equal to new copy on write array list why we are using the copy on array list why not the normal array list the normal array list is not really good for what you know the concurrent operation so i i will tell you what exactly the concurrent operation in my later tutorial as of now we you know just to use what you know the copy on write array list instead of using the normal array list right so now we just created what you know the simple customer list which is going to hold what the customer object right so i'm going to add the method called add customer which is nothing but going to create the customer in say the customer list i'm going to pass the customer object to this method and then i want this method to return the created customer object and then i want this method signature to be what you know public now what we trying to do we going to add a customer whatever customer we receive we going to add that customer to this customer list okay so how to do that it's very simple right so customer list dot add i'm going to pass what you know the customer so now before going to add a customer so now i want the customer if you look at it if you go to our customer class you can see the customer id right we are not going to pass the customer id you can see what the customer id we are not going to pass the customer id in our request payload we'll be passing only the customer first name last name and email i want this customer id to be generated internally we'll see how to do that right i'm going to create one more variable call private integer customer id count right equal to 1 so now what i'm going to do so whatever object that you pass i'm going to pass customer dot set customer id equal to customer id count right now we set what you know the customer id count to our customer object now i'm going to add this customer object into our list now i'm going to increment what you know the customer id count plus plus then i'm going to return the same customer object that we have now if you look at it the customer object will come without the id we are setting the id before we going to add it in our uh, database so in, as of now we are not using the database i'm considering this is our database we are adding into our list then we are passing the updated object as a response to what you know the particular request right now we created the add customer method now we going to see how to get the list of customer right so how to do that it's very simple public i want to send the list of customer right so list of customer so i'm going to call this method actually what you know get customers which is going to return multiple customer i'm simply going to return the customer list that we have already right so it's a very simple imp simple implementation now consider i want to retrieve only the specific customers now how to do that public 
I'm going to return only what you know one customer so customer I'm going to call this method actually what you know get customer get customer here I just want to pass what is the customer ID right so that they can pass the customer ID then to the list from the list we can filter that particular customer ID and then we can send it as what you know response for the particular request so how to do that so we have already the customer list with us now we we have something called you know stream api that is actually part of java 8 onwards the stream right so i'm going to use the stream dot i'm going to say what you know filter so what i'm going to say customer c dot get customer ID if it is equal to equal to the customer ID that we passed then find first then get the find the first actually going to return the optional object from the optional object I'm getting the actual object I'm returning that object as what a response to this particular method right so we actually did get customer as well so far we just added a few methods that is actually going to add a customer get the list of customer and get the specific customer now let's add few more functionality to our customer service layer so what is that you know I'm gonna add the method called update customer which is let us to actually what you know update the specific customer from the list so I'm gonna pass two argument one is actually what you know the customer ID needs to be update and then the customer information that we want to update right so I want this method to return the customer object whatever updated customer object I want that customer object to be written in this method we just created what you know update customer method now we're going to find the customer from the list then we're going to update the customer then whatever information is updated that information we're going to return in this method now let's see how to do that customer list dot stream stream dot I'm going to do what you know for each for each then I'm going to say if the C dot get customer ID it is equal to equal to the customer ID that you pass then what I'm going to do I'm going to update the information such as customer first name so I'm going to get that information from the object that we are passing customer dot get first name then I'm going to do it for what set last name so get the last name then I'm going to set the email then get the email right so we just updated all these information except what you know ID then we're going to return the updated customer so how to do that you know customer list dot dot stream dot filter I'm going to pass filter customer dot customer ID equal to equal to customer ID that we pass then here I'm going to do what you know find first the find first is actually going to return the optional customer object from the optional I'm going to get what you know the customer object I'm going to return that so our update customer logic is actually fine right so we have a customer list so from the customer list we are actually what you know finding the customer that needs to be updated we actually update all the information then we're going to return actually what that updated customer information to what the particular request right now let's see how to delete the customer I'm going to add a new method called delete customer which is actually going to take the customer ID that needs to be deleted from the list I'm not going to return anything so for this method so I want this method to be public right so now very simply I'm going to do customer list customer list dot stream dot for each then I'm gonna simply if the customer dot get ID equal to equal to ID that we passed I'm gonna simply do what customer list dot remove the specific customer that's it right so this particular method is going to delete the customer based on the ID that we passed 